Welcome back to Firewatch. So Henry is going for a little bit of illegal fishing to try to change up the diet. And Delilah has just told us that I should also keep a lookout for bear tracks for a problem bear that's been seen in the area. Where are we, by the way? Oh, we're heading to Jonesy Lake, it looks like. Okay. Everything's so lush and smooth. Good memories. That's where I stomped out the campfire repeatedly and found firecrackers. I found a bra here. What's this? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on, something's out here. Yeah, me too. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> Strange noise towards Canyon. Hold on, I want to take more of a look at this. So, this is for... 2F day 64. Yeah, D and H, Delilah and Henry. Biggest fire of the year, uh huh. All of that. Nexus between Jonesy Lake and 2F. 2F is the what? The Two Forks Lookout, right? Yeah, so three times weekly between there. What? Is that tracking me? Do I go there three times weekly or is that them or something? Rainbow strikes times the numbers. I don't know what that's about. Fire routes. Fourth of July, fireworks all night, and just more conversations. Would you kill Paul Cartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? <laughs> Absolutely. Me too. Oh god, and then me three, the person who transcribed this. Ugh. I want to see the other note, though, the one that Henry flipped through before I could read it. I can't seem to, like, flip back. Um, let's try looking at it through here. Where is it? It doesn't seem to be here. Hmm. Odd. Okay. So, strange noise towards Canyon. Devil's Canyon, right? Or Thunder Canyon, rather? Henry, are you there? What happened? 
happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I... I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. This just... Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three? Four or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, there, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. I wonder, like, I don't know how this could possibly really be, but remember Delilah was surprised at seeing the fence there? I mean... Could it be one of the people that went AWOL from the lookout? You know, Delilah just assumed they just like left, but what if one of the people that went AWOL actually just went further in and is like li living off the land and listening in on the other lookouts and I don't know, built the fence? I mean, how that? How the hell did they just build that fence though? I don't know. Looks like we gotta go a little bit this way and then left. Up here? Uh, I guess I'll put this rope around here while I'm here. But I think I wanna maybe head up this way, although I can't, can I? Yeah, so that's the pathway I wanna take. See if I can get to it from down here. Well, that's definitely been placed by somebody. A marker or a, a cairn. How do I get over there? Oh wait, this is this the pathway? Oh. I thought I was heading into Thunder Canyon, but never mind. We're on the pathway. Alright. Chop it down. If I had the tool. Can use that to get across there. Hmm. And I see another fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. 
How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, they must have a way past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Can I try to unlock it? Maybe it's one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, mm. those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Ah, well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Excellent. So that's, I guess that explains why I couldn't get through there. Couldn't find a way through there before. But it looked like a whole area. Because it is. And now I can get there. I'm glad they rewarded me for thinking of the stones. I saw the stone and picked it up and thought, hmm, I could try to use that to break it. Of course you can. I mean, it's far too small. And even if it was big, I don't know if it would work. But at least it lets you try. <laughs> Wonder why those loose stones were there, though. Just to, like, just to tease you? Just to make you think, ah, oh, I got it. But you don't. Yeah, I wonder if that was just like another little cairn, another little marking for whoever it is that's going to this area. Like this one. Eh, I should probably save my pictures. Only got 12 left. Okay, I'll uh, meet you back when I get close to the Ruby River. Nope. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. How you would do that? Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Should be almost there. It's close to the medicine wheel. A bit more up. A bit more north. Butterfly. I don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he 
you would have been. This is that strange spot I found a while ago. Still doesn't seem to be anything here. Other than this tree. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They were the ones that... Oh, <laughs> for a second I was like, oh my god, but no, that's... Right, the fire... fire lines and stuff. Perfectly normal. It's fine. But yeah, um... It's funny that they would bring up... What was it? Ned and Ted? Or whatever? The father and son? The ones who disappeared? When my thought was that perhaps the ones who disappeared? Or at least the father who disappeared, perhaps? Set up shop. I feel like they're kind of trying to get that into your head a little bit, just to think about him again. Anyway, we're here. Not gonna bother jumping. Yeah, this place has changed, huh? where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. <laughs> Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Why is there a snowmobile here? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. <laughs> that sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Did you steal it, Delilah? I think we're getting close, right? <laughs> Pork Pond, lovely. <laughs> There's a lot of um, areas to the side that I want to check out. See if there's anything around them. Camp? Arapahoe? The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. We can drop down here. Yeah, is there anything else out here? I don't see anything in particular. This place looks like it's in shambles. Only that one seems to have a roof, even. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone.
someone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask him to help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. Probably just gonna find an old, like, fire axe or something. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. <laughs> the what? <laughs> no, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Oh, right, so I guess the the D, D map and the dice, or the die rather, that uh, I found in the Two Forks Lookout must be from Brian. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. Between everything I've just mentioned and we've seen, and then this missing person for Mitch Michaels, maybe, maybe Mitch Michaels is the one. I think it's either the father or Mitch Michaels that have set up shop here. Hmm. Ten to one. I think we've already seen that at least once before. Let's see. When a full-page ad is taken out in the South City Chronicle with the names of ten citizens, none connected, and three already dead, it's clear to the probably city of 1.5 million what is going to happen to the last seven. And then two more jobs to find, South City from itself, climax we deserve and fitting into 15 years of Neil Black mystery. Okay. I also wanted to read it because I was a little bit worried for a second that maybe you would mention. <laughs> like, maybe the book would be something about murders happening out in the woods. Perhaps someone got a little inspiration. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Memo. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. I want to read this before I reply, but I don't want the timer to go up, well, so... you're not. I'm infinitely complex. Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm going to do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Alright, Squad Boss Grant Carson, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew. Ranger District, Wyoming, 
Regarding Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region. Squad Boss Carson, in the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby River. I'm writing you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about, and that your, your team's fire lines are the most potent preventative measure in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks as always for your service. Rich, Rich Slusarenko. Assistant Superintendent. And this was sent 7-10. What is the current date? Well, I'm sure that wasn't long ago. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Wow, I'm 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? I'm still holding it. Why am I still holding it? <laughs> <laughs> now that's a real mystery. <laughs> oh, I love the back and forth. It's, it's actually covered in poop. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna drop that there. I'm not seeing any supplies. Oh, hello. Look at that. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. Yeah, look at that. Not just an axe. It's also got a thing on the back. I'm not sure what that would be for exactly. It's obviously bladed on the back, just like it is on the front. Alright, cool. Oh, it just showed up like an icon, like maybe I press a number key and it pops up. So one one is the compass, two is the map, three is the camera, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how to open it. Maybe you can't. You actually you probably can't. You probably only use it at specific times. Like the gate and when you're trying to get through those uh heavy shrubbery and stuff. Such as this. I think they gave you this to test it out. Oh yeah. Cool, that's gonna open up a lot. This makes me want to go everywhere but Wapiti Station first. Because what if I go to Wapiti Station that's like the end or something? This game is not very long, apparently. I think it's around four hours long. I think I'm just kind of lucky that it fell down in that direction, actually. I mean, usually it falls in the direction you chop it at, you know? Anyway. Alright, let me just look around all this open land. It doesn't look like there's anything here, but I'll bring you back if I find something. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> uh. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you.
Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is- I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, We're about right. to communicate in code, aren't we? Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Damn, Henry, you're so thick. <laughs> it took them so long to realize what was happening. Report poster. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to do that. It's July. Let's see, where is Cottonwood Creek? Ah. Ah, right, I didn't really get a chance to go that way, did I? I don't even think I got back past Pork Pond before I ended up just ending the day and going back here after what we discovered, what we heard. Alright, let's take a look here. July 16th. What the fuck difference, difference a day makes? Holy hell. Don't even know where to begin. It's late, past midnight, so I'm going to write down everything that happened today as fast as I can. I went down to the lake and found a clipboard and walkie-talkie and... I don't know how to describe this. I don't know what to say other than someone is listening to Delilah and I. I know that sounds crazy, but someone is out here listening to us and attacked me. They're taking notes about our conversations. I think there might be some sort of study going on. Like maybe we were given these jobs not just to look for fires, but to be, to be a part of a behavioral study or something. Fuck. I know this all sounds insane. It is insane. But I don't know how to explain any of it. Delilah definitely hurt someone on her walkie-talkies, too. It wasn't just me. I'm rambling here. She hurt someone, too. I tried calling her a couple times tonight, but we don't want to talk on these anymore. I don't know what we're going to do. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head over to Cottonwood Creek.